it's uh, absolutely ridiculous that such a theocratic tyrant will lecture anybody in the world. The entire world is looking for a day in which Iranians will be free. And this is what we have to concentrate on. Participation, how both countries collaborate uh, in terms of the water topic. Uh, could you just brief us on that, sir? Well, Sahel, we have a great cooperation between India and Israel. Thanks to the leadership uh, of uh, both of our Prime Ministers, uh, Narendra Modi and Prime Minister Netanyahu, that have uh, identified water as a strategic issue for both countries. Israel has started introducing irrigation technologies to India more than 30 years ago, but now we are going to the next step. We have a water uh, envoy here, um, and uh, what, what she is doing is basically bringing our governments together to plan water projects and using the amazing bank of solutions that Israel has created as a result of our water scarcity in Israel. And these water solutions are in four main fields. The first is irrigation. Of course, irrigation is essential to not only to save water, but also to increase crops and to prevent water degradation. The second solution has to do with water management, the networks. Uh, Israel has introduced technologies to prevent leakage, to have sensors, to control the water system, to meter the water, to price the water, and to put quotas on the water. Those essential things for water management of networks uh, are the next thing in order to create a situation in which we have effective use of water. The third solution has to do with purification and recycling of water. Today, in order to secure sustainability and to prevent uh, climate change, to deal with the challenges that we're having, we have, and, and of course the urbanization that is increasing the usage of water in developed economies, we have to deal with preventing contamination. So when we purify the water, we uh, have an additional source of water, we prevent contamination, we do decarbonization and therefore purification has become, and the technologies to purify have become essential in any water policy. The final issue in the bank is desalination. When all the other solutions are not enough and you still need water in places like islands or other things, you have to use desalination and thanks to great development of Israeli technologies, we have created cheap solutions that can create additional source of water and of course that water can afterwards be recycled and reused under the chapter of purification. Right. Uh, what kind of investments can be expected and also on the other fields? Since you talked about the investments going to increase, uh, what are the aspects which uh, the Israel is yeah. looking for? Well, Israel has been cooperating with India in the creation of 32 centers of excellence in agriculture that are first and foremost helping to plan the water usage of each area uh, in India and in addition to that, of course, to introduce in an effective way the irrigation technologies. Uh, in addition to that, Israeli companies are partnering with the Indian government to implement uh, projects of uh, uh, creation of new water resources and the effective use of water networks in coordination with the water companies that are managing the main cities of India. Shifting to the uh, breach of Lebanon, there were um, the blast which took place and the allegation was towards uh, Israel. Your thoughts on that, sir? Uh, how do you look at that uh, blast which took place? Well, we are very keen in getting our population back to their homes in northern Israel. They have been uh, removed from their cities as a result of the completely unprovoked attack of Hezbollah from Lebanon since the 8th of October. We are looking forward to a solution that will allow our population to go back to their uh, settlements, to their cities, and for that to happen, Hezbollah forces will have to move north to the Litani River and implement UN Security Council Resolution 1701. Well, it's uh, absolutely ridiculous that such a theocratic tyrant will lecture anybody in the world. 
first and foremost, the entire world is looking for a day in which Iranians will be free. And this is what we have to concentrate on. Uh, last of all, of course, we, uh, UNGA has gone at two friends, Prime Minister Modi, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu. Any chances of them uh, meeting in uh, New York, sir? Well, I don't know. We'll have to see how their schedules uh, uh, match. Uh, so I don't have an answer for that. But if we do have uh, such an opportunity, that, of course, will uh, enhance our very good cooperation on a uh, great uh, list of uh, fields. Thank you very much. Okay.